folder. Are you able to see my screen? Uh, no, sir, not yet. Yes, sir, now I'm able to see the screen. Okay. So this is we have covered like the weights. Okay, the explicit weight and uh, the synchronization what we have in the Tosca. Okay, so let's cover. which is the control group. So did you go through like any hands on with the Tosca, like any issues? Uh, I was uh, going through the first video to uh, like uh, have a like revision. So I opened the like Tosca, but I was not able to understand from where to start. Like from where should I create project and where like they were giving communities and modules and some documents. So I was not able to understand exactly from where should I start the project. So I was thinking just, of asking today. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Sorry, uh, I lost the connection, I think. So about the like the Tosca where to start. OK, so you, have you installed the Tosca? Samia? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I installed it. You have installed it, right? Yes, so sir. in the start menu, you will see the Tosca commander. Okay. Okay, that you need to open. Okay. The Tosca commander. Okay. So, so actually, what... I'm opening from that link. One link uh, has come on the mail. Uh, there was some issue with the license server. So uh, I had requested. No, no, don't, don't, don't go with the license server. Just download the 14.0 uh, okay. setup. Okay. 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 You have installed it or not? Right. Sir. I am in confusion. I think I'm in trouble. Let me check once. Because there is no such documents as of like uh, what I have shared with you is. Yes, sir. I can see in my computer. Tosca commander is there. It is there. Great. Yes, sir. It's there. So you need to open the Tosca commander. OK. Yes. Okay. When you open this, mm -hmm. you will see. Uh, can you share your screen or I can access your screen? Oh, so I will yes. show you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, so how to share? OK, yes, I got it. Yes, just one second, sir.
sir are you able to see my screen not now okay Hello. Yes, sir. So I'm sharing the screen. Okay. So are you able to see my screen? Not uh, yes, not uh, actually it's coming blank. Okay, maybe it's loading so. So is it uh, like are you yes. able to Yes okay. yes it is it is loading it is loading Okay 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 Hi sir uh, Rohini joined Yeah hi Rohini Yeah actually facing some issue No good. <gasps> Rohini you have also installed the Tosca right Hello. Sorry, I was talking on mute. I'm facing some issue on my personal laptop, sir. I'm using my office uh, credentials, one of my friends. Okay, so yeah. So have you installed on your machine and you are going yes. through that? Yes, yes. Okay, so what we have covered, like the static weight and the configuration parameter, constraint yes. index. Yes, yes. Were you Even able to I scan? I on my application as well. Okay, so is it working? Yes, yes. Okay, great. So I think Soumya, it is uh, not coming on our screen. Like it is still loading. I don't know what is the issue. Okay. Uh, uh, shall I stop sharing and then again share or shall I share later? Like you can you can share later on. Okay, I okay. can just see the Tosca web page is opened. Okay. Okay, okay, so let's share it again. So let me share and I will show you how to do that. Okay, after uh, opening the commander, you will see this. Okay. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, and you need to go with the new workspace okay which i showed yesterday also you can you can go through the yesterday's class okay so this is your workspace page here you need to create the new okay and in this you need to select the repository which you want to uh, create on let's say this is a local workspace you will create one local repository 
okay and you will create select the create single use user workspace okay because you are singly using it when it comes to the like working with the team and everything then we create the uh, common repository which comes under the different database right which is sqlite oracle ms sql and db2 that's how you just need to provide your workspace name it can be anything okay like this anything and click on the use workspace template so that it will include your standard modules okay so when you create this this will create like this okay the your whole workspace okay in that as i as i showed you on the first class you need to create the component folder okay this is our component folder which is dividing the whole uh or application and let's say the work of this batch with the other batch okay it is dividing with the component folder we are creating the component folder and we are creating the components of the tosca which is uh, the execution folder modules requirement folder and test case design folder and the test case folder okay yes sir so this is how you need to create and then you need to scan on the modules you need to go through uh, the videos okay i just want you to come up with the queries in the next class okay because uh, you have missed three of the classes okay yes sir so let's go with the today's topic which is the control group merge modules i frames and the overview of dynamic expression okay so this we will going to cover today so what is the control group okay so let's use the registration page okay so this is our page and you can see uh, this radio buttons we want uh, to have it okay i want in a module this community poll where i can select any radio button and i can vote for that right yes so sir. For, so for this we need to scan this first okay it is on the home page let's scan this what is it about the link it is not useful We'll scan this application. Uh, sir, we should scan or we should re-scan that uh, only there for that module. Uh, no, actually, we need to scan because community part is the separate. You can see the area on the home page. Okay. Yes. If we go with the navigation link, link. Okay, you will get confused, and you cannot put everything into a single module. The thing is that. Okay, so I have that's why I have created a folder-wise structure. Okay, let's say in the in the home page link, we have added uh, uh, the different comp uh, the sections of the home page, not the same. Okay, so I mean, uh, rescan oh. means in the same module on the same page. If we get any extra field, in that case, we will be using rescan. Yes. And on the same page, if a different. Yes, module, yes. Could scan it. Let's say you want this. Uh, you, let me show you here only. Okay. Okay, I want the community poll. I am selecting on screen. these are the radio buttons i am getting it okay i am not taking the vote right now okay so this is now unique by its id okay these all are unique using the id okay we are saving it
and we will mark it as community poll. OK, then there is a requirement like the edit the vote we need to add on the module or whatever there is for the community poll. OK, but we have scanned only the radio buttons and we need to add the vote button. So what we will do, we will rescan this module. OK, the application sorry in the tool itself, uh, the option will change to rescan. Yes, yes, yes. Once the module has created, the option is changed to the rescan. So in the rescanning, it will not give you the option of selecting the screen because uh, we, are, we are telling the Tosca to rescan that particular application which we have scanned and got the module out of it. Okay. Right. Screen. Okay, and then there is a vote I need to include. Okay. okay. This has come. This is identify by its ID, which is fine for us. Okay. Yeah. Now, if I save it, the vo vote will add into the same uh, module. Okay. Okay, you can see here. So this is how you can add, let's say whatever you want to add some other things is some some the links got changed. OK, some uh, new let's say poll has added in the in the future. OK, so you can rescan it and you can add it into this. So this we got it and uh, now we have this is as excellent poor. What do we have good poor very well. We can rename this, right? Mm. OK, so now I'm using this into my test case. So this we need to change the work state as completed. OK. Every time we are finishing with our test cases, we need to set it as completed so that it will give us the idea what is completed or what is not. This is for the control group. So Rohini, we are taking the topics today which is not uh, linked with the yesterday's class. OK. Because uh, the, uh, I want the Soumya also to be on the same page from the next class. OK, so we are covering the different than what we have covered yesterday and linked to it, right? Okay. So let's say I want to select the good. OK, what I will do? Click. Either I will click or I will use X. OK, yes. so now what is the difference between click and X? OK, this is a very, uh, a very much asked interview question also. OK, so what is the difference between click and X? So the click uses the user simulation. OK, so whatever you are using as a user, OK, in the manual testing, let's say you this is the cursor. OK, for the community poll selecting the excellent, you are going here and you are selecting. OK. So click will replicate the same operation. It will move the cursor and it will show you where it is clicking. OK, according to the resolution. OK, whatever it, this is now, this is my resolution is 100%. So it is working like that. OK, and X executes the particular element. OK, by its unique property. OK, it will not show you this. Uh, the cursor movement. OK, either it will show you it will directly click on the good. OK, I need to show this to you. So let's say we are using the click. OK. 
and what is the difference i will show you between the click and x and what is the preferred way to use this sir Let's can say. we put uh, for options as a click and vote for x and can we check uh, to at a time how it is acting yes you can put it but uh, difference i want to show you is uh -huh. okay so you want this right yes so when you go here will move the cursor for good and clicking on the vote okay you can see the this particular uh, uh, hand on the vote okay but i want you to show the difference that's why i didn't use it in the one module okay, okay. so you see how the click works okay now what i will do i will use the very bad and used it using the x my cursor is here it is not moving okay it is still there and very bad is selected yes got it so yes. this is not showing you the cursor movement but it will click on the particular element which is uniquely identified internally okay so now what is the preferred way of using this because i want to show like what how the cursor is moving or i want to perform the application operation okay so let's change the resolution now it is 100% okay let's change the resolution to 125% okay now use the click instead of x okay it can be possible you are working on the on my machine okay and you just switch to some other monitor where the resolution is different right and our whole and sole purpose is to make our script robust it can be done on any of the environment okay so this is the way this is the way to make this particular thing robust as using the x not the click okay you see now the operation of the click okay now it is clicking somewhere else and executing the step right it is not clicking on the good okay it is showing that good is executed successfully just by performing the operation click okay it has not clicked on the particular element but on the same resolution if i use x okay and i execute this okay so good is selected now hello yes sir yeah so this is how we are making the uh, the application robust okay by using the x so from now we will going to use the x instead of click okay because no matter the resolution is our script will execute everywhere you want <clears throat> let's change the resolution again so we are selecting one by one okay and uh, we are making this like the we need to select the poor bad after everything okay so let's say there are 10 radio buttons okay of the same property of the same business type so how to manage that in a single module okay you cannot use the 10 radio buttons okay then you will going to use the vote okay so this is we need to manage using the control group okay we uh, so what is control group is it is creating the group of the elements who has the same business type okay the same business type is here the radio button okay you see here the business type is the radio button okay we have the same business type now what we can do 
we just select all those radio button, right click and convert to the control group. OK. So this is showing us the error saying you are already using this particular module. OK. So after using this particular module onto a test case, you it, it, it shows you the error. Uh, that you cannot create the control group because it will disturb the structure of the on uh, the structure of the uh, test case. What we are, we are we are already in use. OK. So let's delete this and then create the control group by selecting the radio buttons. And convert to control group. OK, so now this all four radio buttons come into a group. OK, now I'm giving the group name as. Let's say ratings. OK. So this is now clubbed into a single group. <laughs> You can see in the drop down. All the ratings what we have covered, right? So how this makes a difference? While using it, you just need to drag and drop into a test case. In the settings. You need to just select which you want to use. OK. The excellent, good, poor, very very bad you need to select. Let's say the poor I am selecting. And I am not performing any click and X operation. OK, it will always take the X. For executing this OK, and whatever we have selected as a value. It will automatically select that. So let's execute this. OK, you see. Just as a drop down, I have selected this. OK, and I'm able to click on the poor. Got it? Then in that case, uh, next time if I want to switch to good means. Sir, in control, yeah. can we have option to change to dynamic? Like you want to change. Uh, I want to, to change for excellent. Then again, I need to change here. Yes, you need to change here. OK, so this is your test case, right? This is not what you're testing this particular radio button or the control group. OK. OK, if your test case is saying you need to select the poor as a rating. OK, in your next test case. It is saying. To select the excellent as a rating. OK, this depends on the user. So this is how it is helping us. So this is just I'm telling you how you can make the more designed way of creating your module. OK, when you have the same property. So the same property does not mean that you can create the control group of everything. OK, yeah. let's say we have the registration form. You cannot create the control group of. The text boxes. OK, you, you can see the control group option. Because every text box is taking the different values. OK, you, you cannot mix the first name with last name and email address and password, right? Mm. But you can select any one of the radio button. This is how the property of a radio button. This is how the property of the button also. Let's say you have uh, uh, you have a long list of search. OK, there you have the previous and next page. You see that right like in uh, one, two, three, four and the previous and next page is there. After the scroll down. Right, so that particular operation you can choose only once at a time. Either you can go previous, either you can go next. Yes. OK, so to selecting this, this, this is the more designed way 
okay to create the uh, module in such a way so that it will uh, create like the elements in such a way so that we can select any if you want to select any one of them you can set directly select it in using the uh, let's say this is the drop down okay you are selecting it from the drop down and whatever the value you want to choose okay you will see the uh, use cases later on i will ask you okay you just need to remember what it is doing right now okay so now you tell me what all possible ways where we can provide this control group like we have covered the registration page right let's go here so where we can provide the control group gender yes so gender you can see this is the registration form in the gender there is only one at a time i can select either the male or the female okay so is it good to create the control group for the gender okay this will also give us a good idea that yeah you need to select the gender out of what it is there okay control group i am just copying it and uh, creating a new module because i have i am using this particular module on multiple ways okay so it will not create the control group out of it i am creating a separate module with the control group okay and if Here. you want to use control group the page uh, which we are using should not be in use no so while creating only we should uh, convert them to group yes it should not be in use that is why see i will show you the option that i am able to creating the control group here okay and naming it as a gender gender okay but when i go here what i am already using it registration form and i will create the control group it will not allow me error while converting the control group items are already in use okay so after clicking on the no this will give you where you are using the control group uh, where you are using this particular module okay that is why you are not able to create the control group yes got it so this is how we are make, we are creating the group of uh, the gender and then we use it we just need to select the gender one at a time what we can do let's say the female right now here so it will only activate the female not the male yes okay so this is how we will go with the control group so uh, later i will show you the the use cases uh, where you can use this okay and how effective this is the control group this is just a small topics to cover but a very big impact so now we will go with the merge modules so what we have what we just saw here in the rescanning okay we are adding some element okay in the where we have added in the community pool okay we have added this vote okay let's say your whole application got changed okay then you cannot rescan let's say this the whole title is got changed with the let's say the registration page okay and it it will rescan with the title only okay what we have if it will match the title then it will get the elements out of it while rescanning it the this particular tosca is knowing that this is the application who has a title as demo web shop okay let's say your application got changed in the future so how you will handle this situation when you want to add and you want to merge all your modules with the new generated modules right so this we can achieve using the merge modules so let's use this in uh, what we have created is products digital downloads and we have this property as constraint index okay so you know we have created yesterday one module okay uh, using uh, the add to cart we have created 
and where the we have used a constraint index as a property right so let's say this is the digital downloads i have created yesterday okay now i want to add this particular drop downs okay okay also i want to change the property of the add to cart what is currently there right now okay so for that let's say i have created one more module okay the application got changed completely and i have created one more module Okay, this is add to cart. I am adding it again. Okay, and the radio buttons. Let's say for this page, these drop downs, not the radio button. Sorry. This I have added. So now the drop downs has the unique property as ID. Okay. we have the properties id and in the add to cart we have the property we don't have any property let's identify this using the index as one okay so now this is the whole elements i got it and i made it made them unique now i'm saving this particular thing Okay, now my module is created. Digital downloads. This I have created. Okay, so you are using this also for digital downloads, and you are using this also. Okay, so is this the good way to use your the same modules? Okay, who, who should be the same property? Okay. but we are using in the different different modules okay we can cover this particular uh, drop downs into this okay but we have created this, this uh, the two modules out of the same page okay let's say someone will come again and it will create let's say whatever is clicking like the digital downloads text coming here right so this is not the good way well like everyone is coming and creating its own module okay for the particular application or the operation which has the same property you have the add to cart button here also you have the add to cart button here also but you have some additional drop downs here which can be merged into the particular module right so to avoid this hello yes sir yes to avoid the situation to create not the multiple modules okay and the duplicate modules of for the same uh, you can say the for the same page for the same application we use the merge module okay so how the merge module help us so we need to select the as a source and target module whatever you want to uh, whatever you want to select it as the source and target whatever you want to merge then you will see in the modules okay you will see the merge module will activate okay it will enable let's say if i select any one of the module it will not enable it is in the disabled position so whenever we select the two modules then only it will enable okay then we need to go to the merge module okay so now my source is uh my source is the dd and target is this particular thing the old one okay but let's say i want to switch the module okay because i want the new one which has a drop down so already as a target and just one add to cart which is already there should merge into this okay so now you see like which element you want to merge here with the with respect to the add to cart okay we have the add to cart on both of the module this is the new one this is the old one you see right okay okay so let's say i want to map this add to cart 
with the add to cart of the old module. OK, I am mapping this. Now you can see in the new one, the title is coming as digital web shop digital downloads. And in the old one, it was coming as demo web shop star. So which is correct for us? Demo web shop star. Yes, so we will select this demo web shop star. OK, with the wild card, it will work. So now you cannot merge. It is not enabled because it is showing some discrepancy which we need to resolve while merging the module. OK, so we will see what is the discrepancy. OK, the class name. Uh, for the old one is there is no class name and for the. Uh, this is the new one. Yeah. So there is no class name for the new one. And then there is a class name for the old one. Do you need the class name? No, I don't need the class name. For this, right? As we discussed yesterday about the constant index, we don't need the class name while we are using the identify by index. Index. Right. Index. And from from this property, what you want? Like the constant index is one or a generic one. What do you want? Generic one. Generic one you want, right? Yes. Which is the buffer of add to cart. Yes. So whatever I want to select, okay, to make this merging, okay, and whatever is best suitable for the particular element, I am selecting it from the properties. Okay. So before that, let me show you one thing. Let's say we are already using this particular add to cart. Okay, add to cart in some this particular test cases, right? Now what I'm doing. The new modules. Also, I'm using somewhere else. OK, this is I'm using. And. I'm using this, Hello. so yes. Uh, no, sir, please. Come. OK. So you are using this add to cart. OK, so you you are using the add to cart button here in the old test case also. OK. OK, you are using this add to cart here also and you are using the same new module for using the add to cart. You are using this. OK, so you don't want to delete anything. OK, you don't want to delete. Let's say it is also using the particular drop down. OK, like it is the combo box. So you are selecting any value. So it is using the combo box also and the add to cart. And if I delete this, OK, if I delete this particular module. It will give you with the warning that it is already in use. OK, let's say this is only one step. What if it is used already in the hundred steps? OK, this will create a mess out of your test case. If you delete this. OK, this will show you no module attribute associated. And your test case will not execute when you go and execute your test case. It will not execute. It will show you the error as unable to run the selected item. No feasible executor was found. OK. So. If you delete this, this will going to happen. So the delete is not also not the good possible option. So I'm just undoing it. OK, this I have created the module. OK, here I am using this particular module. OK, and I don't want to delete. So what I will do, I will do. I will merge the module. And how useful this is, you will see what I'm selecting is. <coughs> The demo web shop from here. I'm linking that to card this. OK, I am resolving this discrepancy. Using this and the no class name. OK, so when I click on the merge, it will merge the module and delete the duplicate module and replace the module in the test case. The three tasks in a single step. OK, so it is merged successfully. You see there is only one target module which we want. OK for the digital downloads. 
which has the drop downs also and add to cart property as generic one okay and wherever i was using it is still using the same property okay you can see the additional elements here but the use of this is not disturbed you see hello yes sir okay so this is like how we are doing it and we uh, we are uh, uh, enabling or uh, you can say the merging modules and we are merging it into the whatever wherever we are using it already without impacting our application <coughs> okay so this is how we can merge the module we can merge the duplicate modules which has the same elements so this is about the merge modules and now we will go with <coughs> the iframes okay like you are getting the elements unique okay you you have a simple page here okay where you can see everything as a as a on the page only okay whatever the element is coming here is on the page this is coming on the page on the single page and you are able to get it successfully but what in case of uh, frames let me show you <clears throat> this is also one of the structure okay of uh, just a second global We have a demo website for this frames. <clears throat> OK, in that we will select the frames. This. OK, so you see this page is different now. OK, on this particular page, there is another page. OK, this can be happen to you like your application is designed in such a way. So in the page, there is a page where you can scroll OK, where you can select any element. OK, so how to handle this type of situation while you will scan this particular page? OK. So let's scan this. So these are the things we have got it from this page. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You guys are listening. Yes, sir. So please be available so that it will be the interactive class. OK, you are selecting this elements. OK, so this is right now unique. OK. And let's say 
the frame is not unique. This is not unique, but the element you want to select is unique. OK, you see the selected item is unique. So many you are getting things. Any question queries? What we are doing? No, sir. Uh, no questions as of now. So you got it what we have covered like in the when we merge the module. OK, there were some properties in uh, in the another one, the curly braces buffer. OK, and something like that different from the constraint index. What we have merged, so why we chose that property? Why we have not choose this property? You got it. So come up with the queries guys, so it will help you. OK, this link we have. And we are saving this particular module. OK. Sir, even the frames are not unique, uh, uh, we can use that. That is what I, am, I want to show you. Yes, that is what I want to show you. OK, this is the frame. OK, you can see this element what we saw is unique. OK, mm -hmm. so it should work accordingly like what we are doing for now. OK. OK, so I am selecting this. And executing this, so it should select the step hybrid training. We have selected two uh, frames now, sir. Selenium and uh, SAP hybrid. It, it got deselected, so OK, I took only one. While creating the module, it got deselected somehow. OK, so this frame is now more than one control found, even if it is unique. OK, so in this case, what we need to do. OK, so let's have this. We are re-scanning this particular. Uh, sorry, we are creating the new modules. OK, and I want to merge it. Just to show you the merge again. OK, this I have selected. OK, now what I'm doing in the iframes, OK, whatever the frame it is containing, we need to go with the hierarchy of making not the element unique, but the frames also unique, the parent also unique, OK? For these elements, we have the parents as this iframe and this training. OK, it is it will always link to this particular element. Right, so I need to make this unique also. I need to make this unique also, which is unique by its title. And then we need to check if this links links particular are unique or not. OK, so now they are also unique. Now if I save it.
you you will not see the frames here okay just the elements you have got it now i'm using this in the iframe and i am selecting this particular element okay so now it is clicking on the selenium 3.0 training right so sir, this is how i am what sir actually previous also in the previous test case you have scan, scanned the application in that we did not got frames as a unique and this in the second uh, case again you have created a new module in that uh, uh, again you have scanned a new application the same application yes the same application with the uh, frames as unique uh, how that got unique i'm i maybe i missed i mean uh, no, no i showed you like uh, just a second you see let me show you the properties you see here the properties uh, you will not be able to see the frames properties actually i have not made this frame unique let me scan it again and in this particular module i have scanned the frame and made the frame also unique okay the parent and the hierarchy structure what i have told you, told you about first we need to make the parent also unique then the child and then the subchild hmm. okay Select on screen. Just a second. Yeah, select on the screen. And uh, we need to select this. We have selected this app to Selenium and SAP hybrids. In the iframes, you see it is unique using its name, Global SKUA. Okay, previously I have not made it unique using uh, by not selecting the name. Right? Uh, okay. now, now the parent is unique, the child is unique with its title, and the subchild is also unique. That is why it is able to click on the selenium. Okay. Right. So now I am using this two frames which has the same properties and the elements. This is the additional, but this is working and this is not working. Mm -hmm. So is it good to merge? OK, yes, we can merge. Yes, so let's select it and click on merge modules okay so this is uh, this is my target one OK, and this is my source one. So I'm just switching the modules. OK, this is my target one and this is the force one. So I want to merge. I want to map this particular frame with the iframe. OK, now you will see the discrepancy here, which you need to resolve. I need to select the name as a property. 
right now here everything is good and I need to select this OK, which is already selected. So this will resolve the discrepancy what we have created. OK, now what I'm doing, I'm just merging the module. And let's close this. You will see there is just one module with the iframe. OK, and you can see the same two test cases now. Pointing out to the single module. OK, this and this. OK, previously it was not working. Now if I click on the SEP hybrid, OK, it will work. After merging, we can delete any. I mean, two of the test cases having the same properties and same functionality. Can we delete one of them? So, like, that? Uh, what you're saying? Please repeat. I mean, merging. We are using like if any function, if any work is not not working or any functionality is missing. In that case, we'll be using merging now. So, after merging of the two test cases, can we delete one? Two test cases. OK, if mm -hmm. they are using this, if you if they are doing the same uh, mm -hmm. different different operations, let's say one is clicking on the selenium. OK, yeah. and one is clicking on the SEP. OK, so delete will not help you. Yes, right. Yeah. So delete will not help you because it is possible and uh, helping us to keep one module only. OK. Yes, module it is one. module got deleted. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this uh, we have covered with the iframe. So this is how you will handle the iframes. This might be the possible way that it will come to you, like to scan the frames and work on it. So that is why I have showed it to you. So now with the dynamic expression, okay. So we have multiple dynamic expression in in our uh, Tosca. OK. As you have also asked uh, Rohini, yes. it was asked to you. Yes. In uh, interview, so you can share the interview questions with uh, the Soumya also. Mm -hmm. OK, just just make a list out of it and you can share on the group. Yes, yes. So sure. it will help everyone. Yes, yes, I'll put it uh, now. Yeah. So the dynamic expression is. We are creating some dynamic elements. OK, we are creating some dynamic values on the runtime using the Tosca functions. OK, with the help of dynamic functions, we have already there in the Tosca. OK, so how to use it is important thing. OK. So let's say. We are using the registration page right now. What we were doing, we are clicking on the home page link, the registration. Okay, then we are filling the registration form. <laughs> okay, so here what we were doing, we are clicking on the registration form. So now I will use X everywhere, right? So whenever it is like I want to show you the cursor movement, then I will use click. Otherwise, we will use X. OK, I want to select. Mail. Any of the radio button, OK? So instead of this, let's use. The control group. Module. 
here i'm selecting any one of the gender then this is test this is the the application is considering okay the same first name and last name okay but the email you saw like you cannot use the same email again while registering the user okay mm. let's let's say i am using this email this is already registered and in the registration i am using the same email okay the user is already registered yes yes user is already registered the specified email already exist it is same okay so you cannot create every time the new email while executing your test case okay it is a continuous process you have just created one of your script and it should execute every time okay no matter what so what help us here let's say the test training okay and this is our general email okay so if we create some of the dynamic values some of the dynamic expression will it help us to create the dynamic and the unique email it will help us right yes so how we can use the dynamic expression is there are some of the dynamic expressions to create the dynamic text to create the dynamic uh, numbers okay and then there is a dynamic date expression okay so we will we will use the date expression in our next class because it is a big topic so in the test training what we will use the r and d okay and this is the function format for the dynamic expression dynamic uh dynamic numeric value okay this we will create it using the r and d and the square brace is open and close and the curly brace close in this particular uh, square brace is what we will provide is the length of number okay how much long you want your particular string should be okay so let's say i want my length should be of five character okay so i will provide the five and while clicking on anywhere else you will see the random five uh, which is come highlighted means it is using the different email address okay and i am clicking on the register okay somya you are getting it yes sir yes okay so this is the random function i am using it so i want to check what it is taking okay is it really generating the random numbers or not okay so we just need to right click whatever the values i want to check okay what the buffer it is using what the number it is using and what it is doing okay we need to check with the translate value by right click on it and translate value okay you will see the test training with some five number is coming 50089 which is unique okay it is automatically creating and generating some number and putting it here using this particular function r and d and the numeric 5 <coughs> so now let's execute it again because this is my multiple uh, this is my test case which will execute multiple times so it is created some 50089 something now if i translate it again it will create some other number which is of some characters test training and 575538 right Yes. So this is creating the seven five five three eight means every time I'm using it, it is making this particular email address unique, right? 
Yes. So this is helping it. This is helping me to create some unique email address now. Okay. So now whenever I execute it, it will use a different email address. Okay. It will not give you because you know the functionality is correct and it should work. Okay. Without giving this error. Whenever we execute it, it will create the new value. Okay. So we have only three types random by text, random by num I mean numeric and date expressions. No, no, we have many more random expressions, random decimals and everything, but this will help you. Okay, the, like to creating the random numbers only. Okay, you will get the use cases out of it. Okay, so there are I'll show you. There are multiple random numbers you which you can check. And see, let's say this is the test training 45418 is coming now. Yes. Okay. So it is always creating uh, the new unique uh, email address. And for that we are successfully able to perform this application no matter uh, what is uh, the use case. OK. We are successfully able to register at least. So you buy this. This is creating just the random text random numbers. OK, for the random text you will use the random. TEXT. OK, sorry, XT. In the same way you will provide here this. OK. Means this also works like test training some random text. Yes, test training some random text, random which text. yes, which will include. OK, just a second. This will include the numeric as well as the characters values. OK. And this is the length of text. OK, so we, we are using this here. And I'm providing, let's say the six number of text generate. So when I translate this. <coughs> it will generate this RFB FX small big anything. OK, in the capital also in the small also with some numeric values also. OK, it is generating some random text out of it which can help us to generate some random email address. OK, every time I click it will generate some. New value. OK, so here we are using text means it is taking numbers also. Yes, that is what I'm telling you. It is creating a string out of it. OK, so a string in the string. It can be the it can be the numeric value. It can be the the particular character value also. OK, so it is generating the string out of it with the random text. OK, so now you see. There is a R and D decimal also. OK, you just you can just go and explore this. OK, so it will create the decimal values. OK, it will create the random def decimal values out of out of some certain values. OK, so like how we are using it. So this is. Uh, I will show you random decimal. This is taking the upper and lower limit. OK, so you can see here. The first three is taking the first three character after the decimal it is taking the two characters. OK, some random decimal values it is generating. OK, like this we have the random re regular expression. OK, but see this are of uh, like. This you can see. The. Random regular expression, OK. 
this uh, if i want to give only lower limit without upper limit also can we can i put it empty and can i uh, check that also sir yes 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 it is why i want you to try mm. this because see we don't create any random numbers random decimal numbers right mm. so let's say there is no lower limit but there is a upper limit as 3 okay so this we are using correct or not okay you just translate it the length of the integer part okay it should be greater than 0 okay say the one okay so it is one point something it is not uh, generating the zero with with the value zero or the null value okay because the zero point uh, something is like nothing mm. right that is why it is not taking it so you can try i have never used it but i just know like there is a random decimal values random regular expression values we have if you want to try you can see the use case it might help you like if you have uh, if you have got some use case using the random decimal values okay but for now if if i take a few mail ids like let us take mine it is rohini.1101 at the rate gmail.com yes i want to register that one yes by giving a dynamic expression so in that case rohini uh, dot z uh, 1101 means uh, how i should give like decimals so uh, let's say the test training dot uh 2 2 1 3 let's take okay. so just we are giving random uh, dot 2 2 1 3 yes random number so like this you can give okay the okay. test training dot 884 and red gmail dot com yes okay whatever the format is it is just wherever you want to create some dynamic values let's say the underscore there is some use underscore okay so test training underscore 774 at the red gmail dot com yes like that it is uh, it is doing so now i just want this is just a quick revision okay okay so uh, so let's have it from the next session okay so somya uh, i just want you to go through each and every video okay go through it okay whatever we have covered we have covered the buffers also we have covered the weights and everything what i have showed you from the start of the class okay so i want you to be on the same page Le okay so start looking after the videos from today okay in the middle of the week if whenever you will get the query just ping me i am available we can have a quick discussion okay we can, we can resolve your queries and we will be on the same page from the next class sure sir okay because yes. it will help you let's say i am explaining something okay let's say about the buffer i want to explain the buffer in some way okay but uh, it is like uh, uh, if you are not aware so we are on this we are not on the same page okay so and i want you to be uh, explore this tosca and uh, uh, hands on with the task so that you will also get to know uh, everything what we are doing yes sir right so go to the videos and i am available throughout the week okay just let me know okay sir okay not sir not only not don't wait for the weekend to come Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, so yeah, I think this is it. What we have covered, and we are not covering the uh, the related topics, which is related to the previous classes. I want to let's say what we have covered, uh, Rohini, uh, about the constraint index. Okay. So okay. I want to show you like uh, how we can define even in the better way the constraint index also. Okay. Yes. So uh, till the next class, uh, the uh, Somya will also be. Uh, uh will be able to understand the same thing okay so we will uh, continue like this okay mm. so for for now and for today this is it so any queries till now somya you want to share your screen whatever is happening to you so uh, i'll try from my end once again and then i'll like let you know if any issues 
Okay. So just install it. Okay. And send me the screens on the WhatsApp. You can share. Okay. You can share. Like this is after the installation. This is coming. I will guide you. Sure. Okay, that's what what you need to do. And you have already installed Rohini, right? No, in my actually personal laptop, I'm facing some issue. Don't know, maybe space issues or something, sir. But I'm working on my, uh, I mean, project VM. Uh, so okay. I requested for Tosca installation. So my project gave that one. Okay, so try with the merge module control group. Okay. Yeah. And like the dynamic expression because the iframes is depends on your use case. It will it will not come for you. Okay. So just try that and let me know if you have any queries. Okay. Okay. So yeah, this is it. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, see you next week, and uh, yeah, we will cover the next topics. Okay. And I want to discuss uh, one more thing, sir. Like in questions, we are getting which type of risk you will face on your project. Yes. Which type of risk? Which type of any risk have you faced in your so, uh, see project? risk depends on the severity of our particular story. OK, you know the story, mm. right? Re story is the requirement. OK, we have in the Jira. OK, the risk depends on the requirements. How critical the particular requirement is. Mm. OK, let's say the we have a requirement to verify if you are able to successfully log in or not. OK, this is a banking application. Mm. OK, until and unless you will not be able to log in, you will not be able to do any transaction. OK, so out of the whole application, even this is a small functionality to test the login out of the whole application testing. This is the most critical uh, critical. You can say requirement. Mm. Until and unless the login will not work any other functionality, there is of no use. OK, so the maximum risk depend on the login. OK, so when you are not able to log in, you will not be able to transact. You will not be able to do any transaction from one bank account to another bank account or anything, any of the purchase. OK, so this will impact your business. Ultimately, if the login will not work, if you will not test the login, if it is, let's say some bug will come into the login, it will directly impact to the business. OK, so business talks in terms of the risk. How this particular functionality is risky if this will not work to the business. OK, so this is how we define the risk. So how to get how to get the risk out of the Tosca? I will tell you in the requirement section when we will cover it. OK, right. So okay. this is how you will define the risk. OK, OK, like weightage by giving weightage. Uh, yes, right. how it is calculating uh, how it is calculating the weightage and everything. So weightage mm -hmm. and everything is different. Okay. OK, that is different. But in the usual terms, OK, when you are not able to log in, you will you are not able to access the whole application. So this okay. is risky. Yes, how right. uh, that particular functionality is impacting our application. Yes, impacting our business. OK. That then it comes to the risk. This yeah. is why. OK. OK. Any other query? <clears throat> no, right now. Yep. OK. OK, then thank you so much. OK, see you on the next class. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Samya. Good day, bye.